Hey, if you like card magic, you've come to the right place. My name is Al Ackerman, and I'm going to be doing an effect from my card juror lecture notes called the Never Ending Elevator. It's a classic elevator effect with a twist at the end. Let's take a look. Hello, Sandy. Hi, Al. I made a little arrangement of uh, eight playing cards on top of the deck. Two sets of four. Now, my first set of four are going to be very easy to remember. They are ace, two, three, four of hearts. So they're in sequence, and they are all hearts. They're in order, right? Now, my second group of four cards, these guys are all the court cards, four kings. But what I want you to notice on my deck is we have no extra kings in the deck other than the four guys that are sitting right here on top of the deck. And they are in the following order. Diamonds, spades, hearts, and clubs. Diamonds, spades, hearts, and clubs. So four kings. The rest of the deck we don't even need. And we have our four hearts in sequence. Matter of fact, we're going to place these cards out in this order. A four, a three, a two, and an ace. In that order. Four, three, two, and an ace. Now I'm going to place the kings right on top of that ace of hearts. Snap of the fingers, up, and there's the ace of hearts. Mm -hmm. That ace of hearts literally went through these four kings. Let's try this again. I'm going to take the kings, go right on top of the two of hearts, up, and that two of hearts goes right through. Let's try this backwards just for the fun of it. I'm going to take the three of hearts, place it on top of the kings, press down, and one card literally falls right through the kings. The three of hearts, we got one card left. Watch that four of hearts. Kings go right on top of the four, and up it comes, right there. Now, everybody was thinking this was a four king good trick, but it doesn't even use the kings. No, it's a sequence. It's a run of cards, a eight, a seven, a six and a five. That's a good run. But let us continue. Let's continue on here. I'm going to start to deal the cards down. And whenever you feel like saying the word stop. stop and again. Stop. And again. Stop. And one more time. Stop. So you just broke this deck up into five packets. Check this out. We have a nine of hearts. A ten of hearts, a jack of hearts, a queen of hearts, a king of hearts, and that is an amazing run. That's more than amazing. How'd you do that? I did it very well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you enjoy the effect, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, the never-ending elevator appeared in a set of lecture notes I released in 2012 called the Card Juror. Now, many times, card magic occurs in steps. So, Peter Duffy had a small packet elevator routine. Dave Solomon, in his book, The Wisdom of Solomon, added a royal flush ending to that routine, and I took Dave's idea and extended it to a run of all 13 hearts. Hope you enjoyed the effect. My name's Al Ackerman, and I'll catch you next time.